Lucas, Luke 20. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple and preached the Besara, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders and spoke unto him, saying, Tell us, by what authority do you these things? Or who is he that gave you this authority? And he answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me. The immersion of Yahuchanan, was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then believed ye him not? But if we say of men, all the people will stone us, for they be persuaded that Yahuchanan was a prophet. And they answered, that they could not tell whence it was. And Yahusha said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard, and led it forth to husbandmen, and went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and entreated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And again he sent a third, and they wounded him also, and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my Yahid. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is their heir. Rather, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen, and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, Far be it! And he beheld them, and said, What is this, then, that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And the chief priests and the scribes the same hour sought to lay hands on him. And they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him and sent forth spies which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Rabbi, we know that you say and teach rightly, neither accept you the person of any, but teach the way of Elohim truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Kehar or no? But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Show me a penny. Whose image and superscription has it? They answered and said, Kesar's. Rather, Kekar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Kekar the things which be Kekar's, and unto Yahua the things which be Yahua's. And they could not take hold of his words before the people. And they marveled at his answer, and held their peace. Then came to him certain of the Sadakim, which deny that there is any resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Rabbi, Moshe wrote unto us, If any man's brother die having a woman, and he die without children, that his brother should take his woman, and raise up seed unto his brother, there were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a woman and died without children, and the second took her to be his woman 
and he died childless. And the third took her, and in like manner the seven also, and they left no children, and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose woman of them is she? For seven had her as his woman. And Yahusha answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead. Neither marry, nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of Yahuwah, being the children of the resurrection. Now that the dead are raised, even Moshe showed at the thorn bush when he calls at Yahuwah the Elohim of Avraham, and the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov, for he is not an Elohim of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. Then certain of the scribes answering said, Rabbi, you have well said. And after that they dared not ask him any question at all. And he said unto them, How say they that Hamashiach is David's son? And David himself said in the Sefer of Tehlim, Yahuwah said unto my Adonai, Sit on my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. David therefore calls him Adonai. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people he said unto his Talmudim, Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and the highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms at the feasts, rather at feasts, which devour widows' houses, and for a show make long prayers, the same shall receive greater damnation. <laughs>